Well, good morning. Uh, headed to my first knee injection doctor's appointment. And since I started back on my lifestyle journey here of eating right and taking care of myself, I've been able to drop six pounds since last week. Um, just cleaning up my diet, you know, no, uh, no junk at all, zero. Um, and when I say, I mean sugar, carbs, pastas, breads, uh, cookies, none of that holiday stuff, straight. Like, oh, uh, if I did wing, my, my old lady asked me last night, what do you want wing wise? And I said, well, give me some wings without the breading. And just get some like regular sauce on it, like Frank's Red Hot or something like that. Some kind of buffalo sauce that doesn't have a lot of sugar and stuff in it. Oh, she said, yeah, yeah, they got one that has like, uh, it's super clean, super, super low calorie sauce. It's a, it's a uh, buffalo sauce. And I was like, yeah, that's what I want. So she ended up getting me some wings last night. That's what I had for dinner. Uh, nice protein, you know, low calorie kind of thing, uh, or no sugar, no carb kind of thing. Um, I'm sure there's some trace stuff in there but nothing like I used to eat and then uh, every day has been like broccoli cauliflower salads steak chicken um, just clean clean eating no pastas no rice no no carbs no starches no none of that plenty of water uh, I do have my diet Pepsi in the morning and sometimes I'll have one of those no calorie energy drinks I know that's not ideal and but you know what I cut everything else out and it's working I'm down six pounds. Um, sugar level or whatever was never really a problem before, but I almost feel relieved that I'm not doing it now, but also hangry and angry at the same time because now you're having to increase your mineral consumption uh, because now you're not eating sugars and stuff to go along with it, so your body's not able to hold and retain, on, or retain water, which also you'll retain minerals and things like that you need that you need as well when you deplete carbs. So now I'm having to make sure I'm taking a uh, mineral supplement, supplement with my water uh, because you don't retain it as much. You, and then I got an Animal Stack pack. It's called Animal Stack, uh, the nutrition company. They make vitamins and minerals and uh, omegas and stuff for like athletes, bodybuilders and stuff like that. I figured... You know what, regular vitamins and stuff don't ever seem to do anything for me and my numbers don't ever increase, especially by vitamin D and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take what the doctor gave me and then I'm also gonna take a daily men's animal pack um, athlete formula blend or whatever it is, a vitamin uh, as well. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Illinois 171 North, Illinois 83 North. Going to my doctor's appointment. Uh, as well as the omegas. And I actually do feel somewhat better. I feel like I'm less tired and stuff like that. I feel like it's working, so that's where I'm at with the whole knee thing. Kind of an update on the LED light install fiasco as well. Like everybody was commenting, that, hey, nice lights, great setup. Thanks for showing us how to adjust them. But there was a few people that were bringing up like federal law and all this other stuff. And I was like, you know, uh, I understand that you guys can go on Google and talk about some kind of federal law that says adding LED lights to a halogen housing is against the law. But we actually have state laws that protect us. There's a few police officers here on this channel that are subscribers uh, that are actually police officers in this state. And um, Illinois, Illinois state law is, is if it's yellow or white, it's considered a, an acceptable on-road use light. And as long as the adjustments are proper and everything and you're not misusing, um, which I did not I showed you guys exactly how to adjust the lights, keep it below the, the eye line of a person that has to look into the rear view mirror and stuff, be respectful to other motorists on the road, keep it kind of, I try to keep it below their door trim level, which for me was about a three, three and a half inch decrease in my uh, headlight adjustment because I did raise the vehicle two inches in the front with the leveling kit. So not only did I adjust it the inch and a half, plus I added the two other inches to it and then it came back like another half inch, was like three and a half inches total. I lowered the light line. So I'm about 35, 40 feet out in front of me. I can see pretty clear, but my lights don't go up past the back of somebody's rear trunk and blind them in the rear view mirror, like at the glass line. And when I'm 
turning, making turns left and right. I'm not blinding people, hitting them in the side of the face. My light line is right close to level with the top of their door trim or just under it. So it's it's not blinding anybody, it's adjusted properly. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, watch that video. But the gist of it is, you wanna have your vehicle about 25 feet away from a level surface. You want to know what the center of, uh, so like pull up to your garage. If you can, If you can pull, 25 feet away from your garage or some kind of flat surface uh, um, park there on a level surface and then take a tape measure measure from the ground to the cent center point of your low beam light that measurement is what you're going to use to make your next adjustment so say if your measurement is 34 inches 34 inches is fine you don't make any adjustment unless the light is the lighting is off you go out in front of you to that 25 foot mark where that flat wall is and you take your tape measure and you mark 34 inches and if the center of your beams are lined up across that wall and they seem to split that line right at 34 inches they look pretty centered right on those marks you made you're done you don't have any adjustments to make but one might be up one might be down and you can adjust them accordingly to line up with that line Anything up to 36 inches, you want level with that line um, if that's the center of your housing. And if you have a car that the center of your line is 26 inches, that's the center of your line you want your adjustments to be. Anything past 36 inches starts getting into this gray area of how people should adjust it. Adjust it. The law says that anything over 36 inches, you need to subtract 2 inches from your center point. So my lights were 43 and three quarter to the center. I pulled 25 feet away. I marked from the ground up on the garage 43 and three quarter. Then I took and I subtracted three and a half inches down on each mark, one mark for each side of my light. And I adjusted my adjusting points on the top of the light until my beams started going down, 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 down until they were dead center with 40 and a quarter something like that 40 and a quarter 40 and a half i don't know what it was. so you have to go back and watch the video to know the exact measurements that put me below the trunk on the cars not in the rear view mirror not blasting them in the face as i'm turning it kept it right down at the trim line or your just your line right here so it's not blasting people in the face and i've got a good visual uh uh image of about 40 35 40 feet out plus some halo effect that is uh that i'm i've seen on the outside you know i can see past that obviously everywhere else and the led lights did really make a huge difference in my my vision at night very 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 nice i feel much safer driving in in, in more adverse conditions and um my significant other feels the same way she was like, wow this is nice i can actually see the road I don't have this terrible yellow light that it, that was in here from the factory or even in her truck. She's got yellow lights and they're just terrible. The regular halogen standard lights. And she said, this is, this is nice. I like this. I enjoy being able to drive something, feel comfortable in it, and be able to see everything that I need to see in front of me and not be blindsided by something. It was just absolutely uh, unbelievable the night and day difference that the LED lights made for this truck. So I can honestly say that the people that were, oh, you're not going to like it. It's dangerous to other people on the road. Not a single soul since I put these lights in here and made the proper adjustments the way I did has flashed me, ran up on me, aggravated me in some kind of way because my lights are disturbing them. I made sure that I paid attention to what I was doing. And if anybody had an issue with the way my lights were sitting, I would make an adjustment. Not a single person, not one single person. Because I did my homework and I did what I was supposed to do to make sure other motorists on the roadway were covered as well and I wasn't affecting their driving. That's the only time somebody should be bitching and complaining about something on this video is if you know that I'm intentionally, I apologize for my language, uh, if you know that I'm intentionally hurting somebody else or doing something unsafe, and you feel like you need to say something, then say something. If you're just being a jerk because some law says that you shouldn't put LED lights in a halogen housing, but you don't know our state laws or anything else, or you don't take anything else into consideration, then you don't belong on this channel.
you should go take yourself on somewhere else and mind your own business and worry about yourself instead of worrying about somebody else then you don't belong here if you feel like you want to be that involved in somebody's personal life to where you want to tell them how they should be doing things you don't belong on that channel you have no business doing that it doesn't affect you it's not in your state you're not listening to the rest of what's going on to see why they're doing it how they're doing it and then you're running your flapjacks and you make yourself look silly as an adult, if it's not affecting you and it's not endangering somebody else, shut your mouth and move on about your business. That's how it is. One of these days, somebody's going to say something or they're going to get too confident online and it's going to carry over into real life and they're going to open that flapjack and somebody's going to put some maple syrup on it. Uh, so, finishing on to the rest of... Uh, my trip to get my you guys don't know I acquired a little bit of a knee injury at work um, it was something that has been building up I guess for years they're saying there's no almost no joint left in my left knee at all tons of arthritis build up the joints almost completely gone bone on bone type thing lots of arthritis and at 36 years old they don't want to do a knee replacement quite yet they want to wait but in the meantime they said we can start gel injections and physical therapy. Well, I'm already starting to do the gym and clean eating and losing weight and everything now. Um, but they want to try a series of gel injections. They said that people have had a lot of success with that and it's pushed that knee replacement out a very long time if, if you take to it very well. So that's what they're gonna start with. That's where I'm going. Wish me luck. If I don't see you or you don't hear from me or something happens where my video uh, it doesn't pop back up on your feed between now and Christmas or you've watched this video and you're so sensitive You're crying on your pillow right now and you need uh, your safe space uh, Merry Christmas to you uh, if, if you unsubscribe from the channel because I've offended you Merry Christmas to you. I wish you the best. I love you guys. Have a blessed day Take care. That's the update in my life